Hello, uh, welcome to the last lesson of this topic, the similarity and congruence. We are looking at uh, ratios, area, and volume. I've combined these uh, uh, concepts, but in the previous lesson, I talked about area of similar uh, shapes, volume. So please, if you have not watched those videos, I would request that you go. Uh, and watch them, then it, it makes sense. So we're using this fact here that uh, if we are given, if we are given the ratios of similar um, shapes, if we are given the ratios of similar shapes, as uh, take for instance, this is very, this is a very common question in the exam, paper one. So A and B, we say we have got three, uh, say we have got three, and then two here okay these are the ratios of the sides of some possible rectangle or stuff like that um or let's say the cones okay these are their heights like the ratios of their heights is two to uh, three to two now when we want to find the ratio the ratio of their area we need to square this this that is very common that is very common so if we want to find the ratio uh, the ratio of area you square this one you get nine you also square this one what you get you get four so this is what is going to be the ratio of the area if you want to find the ratio please pay attention if you want to find the ratio of um, volume we want to find the ratio of their volumes you've seen what we're supposed to do find the, the cube of these ones so this is going to be three times three times three which is like uh, you put three here even this one three so this is going to be 27 and this one will be eight all right now look at this now we've got three here these are the ratios of volume, ratios of area, and then these ones are the ratios of height. Okay? So in the exam, in the exam, they are going to give you maybe one of these. Can we pay attention? They are going to give you the ratios, or the ratio, I mean, the ratio of volumes of two similar, two similar cones is 27 to 8. The ratio of similar, uh, the ratio of volumes, volumes of similar what? Cones is going to be given by this one. So now you need to know that this, this ratio that you have been given is volume. You understand? It's the ratio of volume. So meaning, to go now, the question in the exam could be now, find the ratio of what? Find the ratio of whom? the area, um, of the same, uh, the, I mean, find the, the, the ratio of the area of the same cones. So meaning these ones, we must use these ones. These are the ratios of what? Volume. So to take these ones back to these ones, that could be also what you need to do. Because to come from this one, we found a cube of this number to come to this one. So to go back to this one, if you have been given, if you have been given the ratio for volume to go back to these ones here you need to find the cube root of 27 and the cube root of 8 the number that we have to multiply by itself three times to get um 27 it is what three we'll go back to three there the number that we have to multiply itself three times to get eight it's two. So we'll go back to that one. So this, after we have found the cube roots, we've been taken back to the original uh, questions. We have been taken back to the original questions here. I mean, to the original uh, ratio of the heights of the cones. Then after we've gotten to this one, since the question is asking us for the ratio of area, then we square those ones to come to this one. We square those ones to come to this one. Okay? You have been given these ones. To take them to the volume ratio, you, you, you find the cube of each. This one, you get to this one. But if you want to go the other way around, you find the cube root. 
The same applies if you have been given these ones as the these are the ratios that you have been given for area. Now, to go back to the original, like the heights of a cone or whatever shape, you need to find the square root to go back to this. After I've gone, gone back to this one, now if we want to find the ratios for volume, we find the cube of these ones. Then we'll get to this point. I hope you are following. That is very important there. I hope you are following. This this question is a com is a very com it's a common question in the exam. It's a common question. Whether well, given you these ratios, then they want you to find the ratios. So you just square root these ones. You go that, then you find them. That is very common. Like uh, we have a to come to area, we need to sorry we need to do this. To come to volume, we need to uh, to do that. Okay. Then, if you want to go back to this point, you want to take these things back to those. Ones. That is where you do these ones. Then a here. This one, you it will take you back to this one. This one, if it has to go back here, that is you find the square root. Even this one, you find the square root. Then it will take you back to that. Okay? So, le let's look at the examples that are uh, under consideration. Let's look at the examples that are under consideration here. Two similar cones have surface areas in the ratio 4 to 9. This ratio is for the area. This ratio is for the area. It's this one here. It's this one. This ratio is this one. So we need to take it back to... We have the ratio for area. It has been given. The ratio that you have been given is for area. Like this to this one. This is area. Okay? Like some numbers were squared to come to these ones. So to get to the first one, which is find the ratio of their heights. To get the ratio of their heights, which are more or less like the original ratios, we are going to ratios of their heights. We are going to find the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. What are we going to get? 2 to 3. 2 to 3. Are we together? And B, the ratios of volume. Ratios of volume, you know what happens. We use these ones because these are the original ones. You don't, ratios of volume, please don't make sure you put uh, a 3 here, which is a, a power 3 here. That would be wrong because these are ratios for area. We need to uh, put a cube uh, on the, the ratios of the, the original, whether it was the length or height, like these ones now. Okay, because these ones were squared to bring to, us to the ratios of area. So it is these ones that we are going to say uh, 2, 2 cubed, and then 3 cubed. We get 8, 27. Okay? The answer for this one and this one. That is what we are supposed to do. That is what we are supposed to do there. Only the first one. These questions, please download the, um, the, 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 what's this, the application for past papers. Go through these things. You're going to find them and it will be easier for you to do. Do a, a lot of practice on the same. Okay? So, let me see if I can also run this part just to create enough space for calculations. Okay, let's look at the second question. Let's look at the second question. Uh, this is uh, from a past paper. I don't know which year is this. Uh, I don't know, maybe 2016, 2017. It's not very clear. So, the base areas of two containers that are geometrically similar are 80... 
centimeters squared and the 180 centimeters squared, respectively. If the capacity of the larger is 54 um, liters, calculate the capacity of the smaller, okay, of the smaller uh, container. Now, when we are talking about capacity, liters, we are talking about volume, of course. So, this is now what we need. Let's see what we are supposed to do here first. Because what we are given here is area. So, we are given area. Um, area of the smaller uh, is 80. The area of the bigger one is 180. Then... I want to simplify this one because this is area. I want to simplify this one until I get to the ratios, the ratios for area. Okay? Until I get to the ratios of area. So, let me, uh, when we simplify this one, what are we going to get? You get, if you want, we can start with 10 there. And start with 10 here, that will be 8, 10 here, this will be 18. Are we there? Then, from this point again, we can simplify this one. 2 here, 4. 2 here, 9. This is very important, please. Now, you will realize that where we are now, these are the ratios that were used to find what? The, these areas so now we need to get back to the original ratios now okay we need to get back to the original ratios so this is what i'm going to do to get back to those original ratios of the what the containers uh, these that are in form of cylinders whether it were the ratios of their radius uh, or um, height so we need to find we need to find the square root of four and d Nine, which will be two and three. So now these are the ones that we are going to use now at this point when it comes to this part that we are looking for. So we have two over three, which is to be equal to what do we get? The um, of the larger one. The larger is this one. So the x is what we are looking for. Then here I'm going to put what fifty four. All right, so this is going to give us 8 there, then 27 is equals to over, oh, sorry, 54 down here, over 54 uh, down here. So then we cross multiply. When you cross multiply, what do you get? 27x is equals to. 8 multiplied by 54. Okay? 8 multiplied by 54. Now, at this point, we say x is equals to what? 8 is equals, I mean, x is equals to 8 multiplied by 54 over 27. Alright? So, I'll continue here just to simplify it. We have uh, 8 multiplied by, um, uh, do we have a common number that can go into um, 7 as well as um, 27 as well as 54? Do we have a number that can go into 27? 3 can go into this one? 9 times? Can 3 go into this number? Yes. The, what, what is the next number? 9 can go into this number. What about into this one? 9, nine into 27, what do we get? Okay. What about 9 into... I think we're going to get uh, 6. Okay. We're just trying to simplify it. If you want, again, we can say now this into that, it will be 2. 8 multiplied by 2. 
So in other words, 27 can go into 52, 54 twice. So we get to, what do we get? Uh, 16. 16 what? Now calculate the capacity. We are dealing with the liters. This is what we are going to get. So when you look at this question, uh, it required us to get the understanding of this concept here. Okay, how we combine the ratio area and volume. So this question is uh, from a past paper, but you will discover that uh, most of them, most of them, there are those questions that are very easy, that uh, the questions that you can do. For instance, on the part that we are looking at, I don't know if you will be patient enough. I want to see if I can uh, show you some questions from the past papers, like this one. It comes from the, this is 2019. It's from the other lesson that I presented earlier. Okay. You can see this is a very simple question. This is a very simple question here. Okay. There are a lot of them that are, if you just go through, just go through paper one and you'll be able to see a good number of them that are, that are very simple. The manner in which they were asked is, um, uh, it's very very simple okay I also have something here that I can share with you um, please the first one there first one there I have demonstrated that one already I've demonstrated that one already um, demonstrated that one already let me see if I can also show you something these I already presented in the previous lessons. Okay. The first one here. Please let's see if we can try these questions. As you can see, I'm getting them from the collection of past papers that I have here. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, do ourselves justice. There's also this one, which is exactly what I'm, I'm from talking about, like the first question that we had there. Okay, the first question that we had there, you see, we're given the ratios for what? For volume, then they want you to find the ratios of curved surface area, which is exactly like the first example there. So I think this brings us to the end of this topic, and uh, you can go through these questions just to basically consolidate your understanding. Otherwise, we are committed to helping you and making you pass the exam. Thank you so much for watching.